Today we're going to clean up a crowbar. You might also know it as a wrecking bar, a pry bar, a pinch bar, a prize bar, a nail puller, a nail drawer. And if you're a burglar, you might also know it as a jemmy or a jimmy. But first up, let's wash off all the dirt, grime and grease. First up, we're going to use our own electrolysis rust removing kit, or ERIC, to remove all the rust from the crowbar. You will notice that we've only used two of the four anodes, and that's so that the crowbar fits better in the container. As usual, we're going to be pushing through 12 volts at 60 amps into the electrolyte, and this will make short work of the rust. You will notice that we have some pitting on the surface of the crowbar. It also looks like this crowbar may have previously been used as a hammer. The wire wheel will get us down to some bare metal. The filing will re-establish the flat surfaces. The flappy disc will smooth out the surface pitting. And the final filing will cut down any aggressive flappy disc marks.
so much sanding so much sanding there's hours and hours of sanding coming up we will progressively work through 80 grit then 120 grit 180 240 320 400 and then finally 600 grit sandpaper each progressively finer sandpaper will make the finish shinier and smoother than the previous one We're on the homewood stretch now. After the sanding, we'll use a buffing wheel to finish off the crowbar. A coat on the Meguiar's ultimate polish finishes off the bar. This is what a perfect crowbar looks like. It's almost too nice to use. 